So you're looking to edit your video podcast for free using DaVinci Resolve. Let's get right into it. The first thing that you have to do is download DaVinci Resolve for free online. I'll link that in the description so you can be redirected to the download instructions for different operating systems. Now, before we get into editing your video podcast, it's very important to learn how to organize your content. You may already have a system for this, but if not, I'm going to show you how I prefer to do it. So within my podcast folder, I like to have a folder that I can duplicate for new episodes. Within this folder, I have project files, which is where the project file from whatever editing software you are using will go. I also have my content folder. This is where any audio and video files will live. My assets have any assets that will be used in the episode, like podcast introduction, any ads that will go in the episode, and even your podcast logo. And exports is where the final exported product will live. So what you would do now, I've already done this, is duplicate this folder and rename it to the name of your episode, and then place all of your content, like your audio and video, in the content folder. If you record remotely on Riverside, you can download those high quality content files directly off their web and then throw them into that folder. Now let's get started with editing. First, you want to open up DaVinci Resolve. Go to File, New Project, and name your project the title of your episode. Now you want to add your content into the media pool. So head up to File, Import, Media, and select your episode content. This will be your audio files and your video files. You'll also want to go back and do this again, file import media, and select all of the assets that you'd like to have within your video. If you record on Riverside, which is an online recording studio made for podcasters, then your high quality audio and video will already be synced when you download it off the web. But maybe you record it on a camera with an external microphone and you need to sync up that audio. Let's go through how to do that. So head to the media tab at the bottom here and select both clips that need to be synchronized. So for me, it's Bridget's audio and Bridget's video, as well as Spencer's audio and Spencer's video. So I'm going to hold down shift and press the video and the audio that need to be synced together, right click, go to auto sync audio based on waveform. To double check that it worked, you're going to right click on the video that you synced the audio with and head up to Clip Attributes. Select Audio, and you'll see that it says Linked Channel. If it didn't work, it would have said Embedded Channel. So as long as it says Linked Channel, then you're good to go. I'm gonna follow the same format with Spencer's audio and video here. Auto Sync Audio, based on waveform. So once your audio is all synced up, you want to create a timeline for the video. So head to the Cut tab at the bottom. You're simply going to click and drag one of the videos onto the timeline. You don't have to drag the audio here because it's already synced up and linked to the video. When you bring in your other video, you want to make sure that both videos are synced up at the beginning of the timeline in order to make sure that the conversation is in sync. Now let's work on the audio of the clips a little bit. The main thing that you want to focus on here is making sure that the audio of both speakers is leveled so you don't have one really loud speaker and one really quiet speaker. So head to the edit tab at the bottom, right click on one audio file and select normalize audio levels. Now you want to change this to true peak and change this to minus three. You don't want the audio to be too low or too high, so minus three is a good rule of thumb. So you want to do that for both tracks and then the audio will be leveled across speakers. There are some other audio effects that you can use as well, but if you used a good microphone and had a good recording environment, you shouldn't have to clean up too much. If you do want to learn about how to clean up your audio a little bit more and clean up each other's voices, then you can head to the video linked above and I'll also link it at the end of this video as well. Now let's design the layout of your video. For this video, because it's remote, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side view of each speaker. So you're going to want to head into your inspector. If you don't see this on your screen, you can just click inspector up at the top right-hand corner of your screen and it will show up. Click on the top video on the timeline. Now head into your inspector and move position X so that your one speaker only takes up half the screen. You'll also want to use the cropping tool to make sure that the video only takes up half the screen as well. Now back on the timeline, click the video underneath and you'll want to move position X for this video as well so this speaker only takes up half the screen as well. 
If you have more than two speakers, you can play around with the layout using this inspector tool. Now you've fixed your audio, you've arranged your video, so it's time to make some edits within your podcast episode. Usually there's some talking at the beginning and the end of the podcast, so you want to delete that pre and post ramble. So press B and your cursor will turn into a razor. Now you can cut wherever you want on the timeline. I'm going to cut right before the introduction on both my track and on Spencer's track. Remember that if you delete part of one track, you want to delete that part on the other speaker as well to make sure that the conversation stays synced. Now I'm simply going to highlight the part that I want to delete and press delete on my keyboard. Now I want to get rid of this razor tool, so I'm going to press A on my keyboard to turn it back to the cursor tool. Then I'm going to press Y on my keyboard to select everything, and I'm going to drag it back to the very beginning of the timeline. Now you can go through your episode and take out any mistakes or filler words using that same workflow. If you need to zoom in to make trickier edits, there's a zoom toggle right in the middle of the screen. Now it's time to add your intro and any pre-recorded segments into the episode. If you don't see your media pool at the side here, you can select media pool at the top and you will see all of your content show up. Click on your introduction, which should have a video asset if you are doing a video podcast and drag it onto the timeline to the start of your episode. Now everything is still selected, so I'm just going to move it to the end of my podcast introduction. Now your introduction may fade out into your episode or there may be a hard stop and then you move on to your episode. So make sure that you line it up accordingly. For this, I know that I have a little bit of a fade out on the music, so I'm just going to move the content in a little bit so it overlaps with the introduction's outro. Now you may want to add a transition from your intro video into your podcast episode. The way you would do that is press effects at the top of the screen, click on video transitions and choose any of these transitions and click and drag them to the end of your podcast introduction video. Now I have a nice cross dissolve at the end of my podcast episode that fades nicely into my video. A podcast, we're Bridget and now you may also want to add your logo into the corner of your video. Drag your logo from your media pool onto the timeline. Now you want to click and drag the end of the clip to fill up your full podcast episode. Now if you want to resize your logo, you're just going to click on the logo on the timeline and you can use the zoom tool to make it smaller and the position tools on the inspector to move the logo into wherever you'd like it. I like it in the bottom left hand corner. So now if you feel happy with your video podcast and it's done, you don't want to do any more work on it, it's time to export it. So go to the deliver tab at the bottom and you'll want to name your episode. I'm going to name it episode three, Bar High Media Podcast. Then you want to make sure that you're saving it into your exports folder in the corresponding episode folder. So browse and navigate to your exports folder. You want to export it as video, so make sure video is selected here. You want to keep the auto export settings, so QuickTime, H.264, and frame rate of 24 are all good settings to use. At the bottom, select Add to Render Queue, and then when you're ready, head over to the right side of the screen and select Render All. This will render your video and it will be ready for you to watch and review on your computer. There you go, you fully edited your video podcast for free on DaVinci Resolve. Now everything that I showed you how to do in this tutorial, you can also do it a lot easier on the Riverside platform using our text-based editor. So if you want to learn more about that, you can head to the video linked above. Now if you want to fix up your audio, like I mentioned earlier, and add things like compressors and equalizers, then you would do this from the Fairlight tab at the bottom here. But before you start messing around with the audio, it's very important to understand why you would use these effects and what they do. So head to this video next to get a better understanding of audio effects and how to use them. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And before you go, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss another video from Riverside. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you in our next one.